I'm sure you are still keeping faith with us on Young Inventors as we bring you fresh project entries in children and young adult participants submitted for exhibition and competition at the Children's Expo 2010. I am Treasure Vasi, your host. In line with our theme for that expo, which is science and technology education, as basis for a true national transformation with sub-themes in power, energy and security, we bring you a series of projects which combine both traditional and contemporary creativity and ingenuity. Before we go into details of projects presentations, however, let us take another aspect of creativity in this unity song from Undo States. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm from Akure representing on those states. The title of my song says Unity. United as one we stand. Together we are moving ahead. Proclaim it in everything the things that we have to say building day by day the first foundation that will lay we are going on to where we started and the beginning again united united as one we stand together we are moving ahead proclaim it in everything the things that we have to say building the money the first foundation that will land. We are going on to where we started. And I begin it again. Thanks. In response, perhaps, to the plight of artisans in their environment, a group of children from Abirkuta, Ogun State, have come up with this battery charger and voltage regulator project. The project is entered in the senior category from NCA Abirkuta and presented by Sheung Babalola on behalf of the group. My name is Babalola Lua Shomi. My partners are Michael Victoria, Mawa Kafayat, and Chiko Julidia. We are all students of Yejide Girls Mama School, Malete Ibado, Ohio State. And we have made some projects. Our project is on battery charging and voltage generator. Here with me, we have a solar panel of 10 volts. I would make this project just to clear off the boys in my street because we know in Nigeria we have regular power failure and at least our sun is wasting. If I should stay in the sun up to 30 minutes, I might develop a headache, which is having a negative impact. But I want to utilize this, the energy from the sun, at least we are not buying it. So that is why I've gotten a solar panel of 10 volts. Now I want to step up the voltage to over 12 volts so that I'll be able to charge my battery. This solar panel is placed for electric effect, in which light causes electricity to flow in the battery. So thinking about how to explain the photoelectric effect, it's not led about instant to the nerve forces and to the theory of relativity. The theory of solar panel came from Albert Einstein with the equation EI equals W0 plus K. EI is the energy of the incident photo, that is energy from the sun. W0 is the work function, that is energy of the material in which this panel was made. 
then ke e is a kinetic energy of the ejected electron how do i go about that the energy from the sun increases and this is called energy of the incident photon it eats this panel thereby overcoming its work function when it's overcome its work functions electrons are then ejected and accelerated now i've connected this um, 10 volt solar panel to my converter my converter consists of a transformer a capacitor a transistor a resistor and a diode how does how do i step up the voltage the current comes from the 10 volt solar panel passes through the one ohm resistor to the base of the transistor thereby turning it on when the transistor is turned on it passes through the collector of the transistor to the primary winding where it produces magnetic flux this is my multimeter mm -hmm. it is used to measure voltage Good. resistance and current mm -hmm. now the solar panel facing the sun it generates voltage now i've connected it to my converter i want to step up the voltage this is it can you see that this, it, uh, the voltage is now getting higher can you now see that the voltage is getting higher this is almost 50 volts which is even more than enough for me to charge my battery so with this i don't need to depend on air, um, um, ac current before i can charge my battery this is also a um, 6 volt battery and a desktop we all know that a desktop works with ac current but we have regular power failure and i don't like it so i've made my own desktop to work with this this um with a direct current this this motor is having a shaft it is a two-way traffic in the sense that if i could get anything to rotate the shaft it generates voltage and if i should connect it to the battery the shaft rotates now i've mounted a pulley on the shaft of the this motor connecting it to a battery and so as this this motor is rotating it also rotates the hot and and this is the charge indicator this charge indicator on briefly and then off when it's on it is telling me that the this motor is rotating and that this is charging my battery again so with this i can power a whole house if i could get an inverter i'll power a whole house and you know those people using inverter in their houses when there's no battery the inverter proves itself useless so with this those using inverter are also wives to me they come to me they beg me to charge their battery for them before they can use their inverter I want to become an engineer. Why? Because many of our battery chargers now are stunned for Kanda Rider. So I want to help them to take them off the streets with my. I just want to take them off the streets with any project that I may. Okay, you? I want to become an engineer because I see my Nigerians are suffering from power failure because this project will help those battery chargers. As if I don't want you get to fuck up. They have an headquarter, there are almost 40,000 of them that are battery chargers that turn into Okada riders. So I'll bring them off the street. And the boys in my street, which have turned into touts, I'll help them by this project. Mm -hmm. I want to become an engineer because Nigeria is struggling from a power failure. With this, we can help the person using Vata to, to, light, to power a house. My name is Fatima F. Mahmoud. My name is Hassana Alifa from Mariam Babangida Girls Science College, Mina, Ninja State. My name is China Zom Ezomuna. I'm from Brightwell College, North Bamako, the Bene State. My name is Akinde Lelua Damilola from Christ Gardener School, Adwek. Also in the display of innate intelligence and abundant creativity, Victor Nwadweze entered these series of prototype heavy-duty machines comprising of payloaders, tractors and tippers useful in the construction industry. Most of the entries which he says he put together using components he sourced from dungs and scraps in the environment were his solo efforts. Here, Victor demonstrates the workings of some of the projects. My name is Victor Amwadjese. I'm from International Science School, Aba, Abia State. This is my project. As you can see, we know, we all know the name. This is a multi-purpose bulldozer. This is an excavating machine. This is a heavy-duty truck. All these are operated by this uh, control unit. This one controls this. Why this controls it too? Here you have an automatic, automatic motor vehicle jack. So it's just. Essentially, why did you do these projects? Why? Can you give me a reason why it's your place to do this, to build these projects? 
I chose to build this project in order to give our Nigerians the mentality that we can do this instead of importing them, we can still make them in this country. Okay, could you tell me what are the mechanisms by which you have arrived at all this? How does it function? What is the mechanism in here that makes it function? The well, machines function according to the principle of pressure transmission in fluids, which states that when force is applied at one end of an enclosed liquid, the pressure is transmitted undiminished to the other end of the liquid. So when pressure is applied here, it is transferred there and the arm is being raised up. Okay. And that pressure is applied here, it is transferred there. The second arm is bent and that pressure is also applied here. The bucket also bends. All right. Tell me materials that you used. The materials used in producing this, you have a, this is a box of a, an electronic speaker. A disused one. These are syringe. These are metals. The syringe here serves as a master cylinder. These are zinc stripes or zinc stripes here. This is a pole from radio which acts as the piston. You have syringe here which also acts as the cylinders in this place. Then you have this is what we use in the hospitals for blood transfusion and also administration of drips. So these are cables using electrical connections. Okay, continue. And now they, tell me, what is your inspiration? Why did you actually choose to do this project? Where, where how did you come about it? What, what gave you the idea? So what gave me the idea is uh, in school we normally learn these principles, and now we d I decided to practicalize these principles, and practicing it now we now have these productions. And you operate it. Let's, let's see a manual operation. I mean, typical operation. And from the angle of the traditional display of creativity and ingenuity comes this creation which the duo of Olatunji Lamindi and Toby Olatunde titled Food Warmer and Cooler, depending on which purpose it is to be used for. The project, which is entered in the junior category from NTA at State, is presented by Toby on behalf of the group. My name is Toby Olatunde. The name of my partner is Lamit Olatunji. We are supporting our project is Tamus Flax. And why we make it is that some people, in, if we look like, like uh, Nigeria now, some people do not have money to buy imported flax to be uh, warming their food. So we make this out so that they will not have any problem. Okay. So what are the materials you use to make it? Toby. Material to be used are two pot. Uh -huh. Be talking. Two pot, the smaller pot and the bigger one. This one is the bigger pot. Uh -huh. And this one is the smaller pot. Uh -huh. Two leads to size each other. Uh -huh. So how and does it work? How does this your preservation? How does this warmer? How does it work? So it it works with the cotton wool. Oh yeah, explain it. If we did not put the cotton wood there and we did not put it inside this place, 
the heat inside the you escape it will escape mm -hmm. but the cutting who is the one that that save the heat okay. do not let it move out okay. so how what kind of food can you store here to warm it any food like what let's see the one you have there what is it there what do you have there show it to us it's a bar ah, is it warm yes ah it's very hot ah, okay put it back <laughs> all right cover it now cover it cover the big one now how much would this one cost cost less than one thousand eh? Cost less than one thousand. Ah, it shouldn't be up to one thousand. Is it all pots and cutting wood? Yes. Why are you talking about thousand? Yes. If you want to make it for my mother in the village, she can't even afford one thousand. How much is this pot? This pot, the two and the three, five hundred. Uh, the cutting wood, go. The cutting wood is two hundred. So seven hundred. Yeah, less than one thousand, but come close to. What the book can say when you say hundred is different from thank you. Abdul Rashid Sadiq's infrared indoor alarm system is a security project entry presented in the senior category from NTA Ilori Kwara State. My name is Abdul Rashid Sadiq. I'm from Kwara State, Ilori, Ilori Kwara State. The name of my project is infrared intruder alarm system. This infrared intruder alarm system consists of three things. I mean four things. We have the transmitter, we have the two reflectors which are mirrors, we have receiver and we have the output. Here are the components of it. We have color coded resistors, we have transistor, switch, ceramic capacitor, diode, 5-5 timer, and here is 9 volts dry cell. I prefer using this 9 volt battery because it's not because in Nigeria we have problem of power failure and it's not everybody that has the ability of buying generator to supply electricity. If any children comes in between and block the signal that's been generated by this to this, it will not make a noise. E.g., let's say this my hand is an intruder and just come in between it. This one will just make a noise. We can have two ways. Maybe that person has a window and a door. If you just it will just set this one at angle 45 to this transmitter and also at angle 45 to this receiver also. When it on this one, this one will send a signal to the mirror. Mm -hmm. Because this mirror is a eye generating, I mean, it's a eye plane surface that reflects light. When this one has sent a signal to the mirror, this one will now reflects it back to this receiver here. When we now set this, okay. this is because of the radiation that this thing just happened like this. Let's now say this one side of the window and this, maybe this first side is for the window and the second one is at the entrance of the house. Even into that does come in between the window and the, uh, in between this and this, in between the transmitter and the mirror, it will surely make a noise. Like let's say this is the window and, and that person just jump over the window and jump inside. It will make a noise there. All the person come through the door. It will also make a noise and a noise. Thank you. My name is Fatima F. Mahmoud. My name is Hassana Alifa from Maria Mbabangida Girls Science College, Mina, Ninja State. My name is China Zom Ezomuna. I'm from Brightwell College, North Bamako, the Bene State. My name is Akinde Lelua Damilola from Christ Gardner School, Adwek. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We are here to present a poem said Nigeria on your knees. We Nigeria children are here once again to contribute our vote towards a true national transformation. We are here once again because we know a bright future awaits us. Our works and our creativity will make our country better. But that is not all. Nigerian children are also praying to God who has blessed our land 
with so much human and material resources. <laughs> Gratitude to God we must show by loving fellow Nigerian, no matter where they come from, for we are one in God. We will grow from strength to strength if we love one another. Let's really are in God. Now is no time for pride. In our prison, let's call upon him. Do not despise our age. For out of the mouth of children are the young. The truth is made perfect. Fellow Nigeria, to your knees. Let's call upon God for he alone can heal our land. Thanks. award-winning mathematics quiz program. What is the value of minus 4x minus 2x? Minus 6x. That's correct. A step. Now, this is the show where we test intelligence and the wit of our students. Hello and welcome to Young Inventors. our presentation on Young Inventors today. If you make it to date with us next week, same time, same station, we'll bring you a fresh edition of the program. See you then and bye for now.